how to transcribe a podcast into text automatically. So you've recorded a podcast and you want to transcribe that audio for a blog post or a subtitles file. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transcribe your podcast automatically using an online video editor called Veed. First things first, in your internet browser, head over to veed.io. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free. And then on the homepage, select upload your video, then upload a file. Now select the video or audio recording of your podcast, either will work, and then hit open. And once it's uploaded, you'll see your file sitting in the timeline of the editor. Now to start transcribing your podcast, head over to the left-hand toolbar and select subtitles, then select auto transcribe and select the language that you speak in your video. I'm gonna select English and then hit start. The software will now automatically start transcribing the audio in your recording. And when it's done, you'll see that the audio has been converted into text over on the left-hand side and some text boxes have been dropped on top of your video in the timeline. Now you can listen through your file in the timeline to see if the editor has picked up any mistakes within the transcribing process. And if it has, you can manually type any corrections into the text boxes over on the left-hand side. And if you're transcribing your podcast to create some sort of subtitle file, you can change any of the timings for when the text appears on screen just by clicking and dragging the ends of the text boxes in the timeline. When you're done, click options at the top of the subtitles menu. And at the bottom, you'll see a drop down menu under download subtitles. And in here, you can see all of the different formats that you can download your transcription in. There's SRT and VTT, which are subtitles formats. And then there's TXT, which is just plain text. Select the format you want and then hit the download icon just next to the menu there. And your file will then be downloaded and ready to use. Veed also gives you the option to burn subtitles into a podcast video. So you might want to change how they look. Just go to styles at the top of the subtitles menu. Add in here, you can change the font. You can change the size of the text and you can change the color like so. And just by scrolling down this same menu, you can see that there are lots of different subtitle presets just here. And by clicking on them, Veed will automatically apply that style to your subtitles to give them some nice clean looks. You can also add some on-screen sound waves and progress bars. Just select elements over on the left-hand side. And as you can see, you can add shapes to your video, you can add emojis. And then by scrolling a bit further down, you can see progress bars and sound waves. And just by scrolling through these menus, you can pick from a lot of different options when it comes to audio visualizers. You might also want to add your podcast logo on screen. To do this, just go over to upload on the left hand side, then select upload image and select your podcast logo from your computer and hit open. And you'll see that Veed automatically drops your image on top of the video canvas. And to change the size, you just have to click and drag the corners like so. And you can also click it and drag it to put it wherever you want within the frame. And down in the video timeline, you can then adjust when your image appears and disappears on screen, just like we did with the subtitles. When you're finished making any edits, just go to export in the top right corner, then select export video, and Veed will now render your file. And if you're happy, just go over to the right hand side and select download MP4, which downloads your finished video to your computer. And that is how to transcribe podcasts into text online. If you found this video useful, make sure you leave it a like. And if you want some more easy to follow editing tutorials just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.